We have Cold Hubs presented by Nemeka. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nemeki Kegwon, and I'm going to talk about Cold Hubs. You know, um, fish keeping is the primary occupation among people living in coastal communities all across the Niger Delta of Nigeria. But most of those coastal communities are completely off the grid. So the moment they catch fish, they dry it as quickly as possible because there's no energy to support refrigeration. But the thing is that dry fish sells less than fresh fish. So the income from fish keeping households is already low. So in 2015, we set up Code Hubs, a company that designs and commissions 100% solar powered working code rooms. These code rooms are designed for installation in farms, in markets, refugee camps, disaster areas, anywhere you need refrigeration at large scale. So what we have done over the past five, uh, two, uh, two years is to install five code hubs for food. And these five code hubs, we've been able to use it uh, to save more than 5,000 tons of food. We've been able to increase income for 320 users from 60 US dollar to $120 per month. And we've created 10 new jobs for women by recruiting and training them to run as our hub operators. So we came to solve actually because having succeeded in deploying cold storage for fresh fruits, vegetables, and other perishable food, we want to introduce cold hubs for fish across the coastal communities in the Niger Delta of Nigeria. You know, I want to pilot this by building cold stations that can hold 150 bags of fish. We are going to charge one dollar to store one of those fishes. But really, we are starting in Nigeria just because we are Nigerians. The market size is huge. You know, we want to deploy cold hubs to anywhere in the world where there is need for refrigeration infrastructure, whether it's disaster area, where there are refugee camps, coastal communities that need it for fish, crayfish preservation, in markets where for preserving tomatoes, green pepper, and so on. So that's what we are doing. Thank you very much. Marcus, and then Marcy. Thank you. It's um, part of uh, potential disaster response activities. How long does it take to build one of those cold hubs? Five days. We can deploy one cold room in five days. Yeah. And we can dismantle it in five hours. It's more difficult to build than to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you say that um, you have a challenge with dealing with daily cash. What, what are some? Of, what, where's your thinking going with that? And how do you think Solve can help as a challenge? Solve can help us design our mobile payment platform, um, which we are working on. We want a system where people can pay with their mobile phones instead of daily collection of cash. So if we eventually win money from Solve, we will, dip, we will use that to uh, complete design of our mobile payment platform. Other questions? Um, there's a strong mitigation aspect in terms of using solar. But there's, I think you're missing an opportunity in terms of adaptation, especially in, in, with respect to increased um, uh, air temperatures. Have you thought about this? Have you thought of this can be one of the co-benefits of coal hubs? Because the spoilage of food is going to um, increase. Um, can you just you know, comment on, 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 on this issue? That whether this is, is, can be also a solution to um, problems or with, with um, food spoilage? In addition, it is a solution to problems of food spoilage. You know, the benefit of cold hubs is all cross-cutting. Uh, aside uh, food spoilage, we can also use it to make sure once there is uh, high-quality food available, it's also linked to nutrition. You know, um, cold hubs can be used to preserve fish, meat, milk. You know, um, it's a wholesome, robust technology that solves a lot of problems. It is infrastructure that is cheap and easy to deploy. Any last question? OK. Thank, Thank you. you very much.